what is up everybody monster gem fanatic here and today we are going to be taking a dive into uh, my inbox hot wheels and spin master monster truck die cast collection we have hot wheels monster jam and monster trucks and then of course the monster machines are included today as well i've been picking up a lot more of those and a sneak peek into the next video i got a couple more those are duplicates though but we got some green lights we got some old impact is truck way at the bottom there we have a lot of stuff to look at in the future but for today we are going to be focusing on what i got for inbox trucks i recently put this wall of trucks up about last week i'll give you a real uh, quick glimpse and then we got a box here we got trucks up here up there and then all around there and all a little stash in that corner right there because i'm in the middle of reorganizing but i can still get to them all this was in my closet but we have a lot of stuff to look at and i want to show you guys because it has been a couple years since i've updated my inbox collection video but i have done it before i honestly forgot about it but it has still been so long and i've like probably doubled it by now so it is appropriate to make a video because um a lot of people love my inbox collection they see it all the time in videos and on my instagram story so i want to show you guys what it looks like now so i think we should start at the top at the top is where i keep not all but most of my chase pieces i have every single heavy metal except the megalodon so we have seven digger el toro grave digger dragon and max d they are labeled from when they came out so that was the first mix of 2020 what was it two yeah 2022 and then that was the second to last mix of 2022 mix 27 the chase piece was megalodon i only ever found one and i opened it i would love to find a second one in package if anyone has it i do have stuff for trade um because it's bothering me that i don't have one in package and then when it comes to the 2023 chase pieces we got swine and dash we have the glaze machine the carnage asada wasabi warrior slicer and grease trap so that set is completed and now let's go down here we have a random silver series grave digger had it since new don't know what i really want to do with it i may just keep it unless an opportunity presents itself and i need to trade it or sell it but right now it is not bothering anything staying right there on my wall looking really cool so now we start the superstore exclusives we have the halloween zombie el toro loco and monster Mutt mummy i do have the grave digger one and i've said it before in my past videos i just have it loose right there but i do have all four just those are the three in package but i will let you in guys on a little secret all three of these have actually been open just taped back up so it looks like they're in package they're my stuff it's for me never gonna sell it as far as i'm concerned it's in my collection so i don't really care i just like being able to still display it in their boxes but when it comes to every other truck on this wall they are all sealed package they're all sealed strut so we have the uh, halloween trucks first we have the first one that we got in 2019 the pirate's curse ghost we have the mohawk warrior vampire which is autographed son of a digger the halloween edition son of a digger we have raven which is really cool i like that one and then we have the earth shaker that one came out last year and then there's the avenger it's not a halloween truck since we just got it in february last month but you know it fits the halloween theme so we got the five plus the avenger and then we have the stunt trucks guys we have the original one the inverse stunt truck that came out about a year or two later we have the uh holiday stunt truck which i know that one's pretty valuable but i uh, was lucky enough to get all of these except the one off the superstore or two actually i would say off the superstore when they came out and i'll tell you guys those two once we get to them down uh the line so here's the uh, final one the ticket master exclusive 30th anniversary stunt truck and then we have the independence day trucks we have the free bird and then we have this stunt truck right here the independence day one i just kind of put it close to those guys we have the uh, radical rescue body independence day truck and then we have the gas monkey body independence day truck just says usa that one i really like that's the one we got last year i believe right then we have the world finals trucks guys we have 2019 this was the first one we got 2020 which i actually have one of these out of package that is the only superstore exclusive i have one loose and out of package and then we have 2022 that one's awesome as well we have last year's i love the whiplash body and then we have the 20th anniversary max d signed by tom Mintz when i saw him in east rutherford last year for the first time ever and obviously the last time at least for his driving career since he is not going to be at philly this year since his injury but that's okay as long as he is all right and maybe he will be there who knows just not driving ocd meltdown and then 
We'll move along down here. We have the first monster machines, the TNT unfinished business truck. And then we have the emoji strong truck. This is one of the two trucks that I had to buy. I got it through a trade from a friend because I couldn't make it. Um, for buying it on the superstore sold out so quick we have all four reindeers this one the dasher came out in 2022 christmas and then these three came out last year for 2023 during christmas time and um i don't really know how i feel about it but you know we got three superstore exclusives for christmas so that's not too awful but i don't know it was pretty expensive that's all i can say they just now got sold down the superstore we have the diggers dungeon truck i know that one's gaining value um we have the 40th anniversary grave digger i really don't understand the point of this one and why it was made but it was and it's still a cool piece we have the blonde to the bone kristen anderson's grave digger i guess it's supposed to be and then there's king sling which i will be getting signed this weekend so you're seeing this friday so the very ne the next day you see this i'll be getting the sign when i go see dennis anderson in lucama north carolina for the two extreme mo uh, motorsports show so that one will be signed i'll probably get the employee exclusive fried truck digger sign too because why not and then we got bog hog which is a cool one now let's jump into some monster machines we'll cover these two first got these out show a while ago both backdraft variants the red and black vendetta that one is sick i just got that one for uh i think it was last month i, I think and then we got drastic attack i bought this one off the website when it first came out because i think it is so sick that we got that we have outlaw we have sheriff we have shark attack radical rescue environmental warrior and queen of carnage all six of those i got in january at monster truck wars very very happy to have all six of those and then we got a bounty hunter which i showed you i had a double love so maybe i'll trade it for another one that i need another monster machines but we have the scarlet bandit next to it which were sold out on the website but thank god i got one um not too long ago we have the shark bite and hot tamale which unfortunately is now retired i believe i don't really know and then we'll jump down here to some of the other stuff we have the hot lose monster trucks live exclusive demo derby this thing is pretty dusty for only being here for like a year hoping to get the uh the one that we're getting this year hoping to get that one uh the recreational type body the camper body we have an error backwards bob i had this one forever since new my parents got it for me for easter one year there is that one we have goldberg long card got this for eight dollars at a uh thrift store or antique store last year that was a heck of a find we have an inbox small hub thrasher black stallion and pure adrenaline and then i recently got the loose variants of that one there's black stallion there's thrasher and there is pure adrenaline now we have a tmnt metal base in red i still need a loose version of that but i did finally get a loose version of the steel striker right there um, and then we have a King Crunch, which I do have this loose somewhere. It is, where is that dang truck? There it is right there. Got it loose, got it new, but it has a hook. And those go on this show off showdown ramp right there. It's supposed to hook onto the back. And I just never got any of those back in the day. I never found them or saw them in stores, I guess. So I have one in package. I think it's a cool piece. I got it for like $5 off whatnot a couple months ago. So looking really cool on the wall. We have the three uh, ride trucks that I have kind of continuing the chase pieces from up there. The Grave Digger, BKT, and Megalodon. I just need the Earth Shaker, which I did have a second one at one point, but I did trade it for something I needed. And then the El Toro Loco and Blue Thunder, which I'll probably never get uh inbox version of but i can dream jumping right onto the other wall and into one of my favorite uh hot wheels moss trucks that i own i traded a couple things for this truck because i really wanted it it is the samson one the original samson treasure hunt we have the back to the future delorean treasure hunt the nissan scon treasure hunt i don't know how i found that we found plenty of those those mrs bigfoot treasure hunts those were not hard to find at all we have, I think that's the Charlie's Angels Bigfoot. Um, I could be mistaken. The snake bite that we got at the end of last year, the Hot Wheels Monster Truck, the original one that's signed by everyone, all the gang from Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live back in like 2020 or whatever, the first season, whatever that was. Samson, the newer updated one, the purple one, which I love. And then the original Samson, which is one of the newest additions to the wall. I love both of them next to each other. We have the Barbie Camper and then the normal DeLorean to go with the treasure hunt up there. They did come out different times they even have different packaging as you can tell that's like 2021 packaging i believe or 2022 and then there's the 2023 could be wrong though but we have a few 2011 trucks surprisingly recently got most of these drastic attack specter flame the travel treads bad news and backwards bob i got these for five dollars each as well on whatnot i was gonna open them but they're just too sick looking in the package to open we got an iron man for a few bucks at a flea market once we have the 30th anniversary grave digger i actually have two of those should be right on top here 
um that one's for sale i'll probably keep the second one unless someone wants it for like 50 bucks maybe i'll let it go we have virginia giant sign from i don't know maybe 2014 or 15 i don't know but that's the 2012 release first edition of the blue one king crunch track ace tires the uh gray digger i don't know who that's signed by it could be tyler to be honest from when he was in arenas um if you guys are familiar with that autograph let me know it's kind of sloppy and then we have a few trucks that i got for easter one year i guess and uh we got the yellow tour logo and that son of a digger we don't talk about it it's missing the battle slammer i don't know what to do with it because i already have one loose so i'm just i don't know i'm hoping it'll stay like that at least and not completely break monster mutt we have the first edition dragon and ice cream man purple mohawk warrior a gas monkey garage which i got a couple months ago not too long ago guys had this one since new i've babied this one even when i I was little so the packaging is still perfect and overkill evolution i recently got that one as well i've had that one since 2018 the carolina crusher throwback the holiday edition mohawk warrior and monster Mott. those are again trucks that i've had since they were released we have the training truck earth shaker and a showtime dragon and then we start getting into spin masters here at the end of this wall we have the fire avenger and rage we have a sam walton truck here and the soldier fortune from mix 34 the chase piece i'm trying to find spots for them well i now have spots for them but i still need to hang all these trucks up we have the rest of the latest spin master releases up there which we'll get to now i know this is an inbox video but i think those look sick so let's take a look we have bad company up there we have the mix 26 25th anniversary grave digger that you know not as good one there's the good one but we'll look at that in a second we have boogie band and moving it over here we have a couple more trucks from mix 27 excalibur the orange and green split paint job world finals avenger from like 2007 or 8 backwards bob from mix 28 axe and stabilizer basically ever since like i'd say mix 23 or so i try to get the first editions or trucks that everyone in the community loves and that i love so i have two of each because i just i'm happier like that we have an error from mix 31 the megalodon it is unspun i guess and then we have the purple legend had to get two of those same with the velociraptor bad habit i really am not liking that one the more i see it and look at it i don't know i don't really like it but i do like this one we have the world finals avenger and recreation everyone has to like recreation and then we have a few trucks from the latest mix maximum destruction gold the updated accurate 25th grade digger and the blue kraken of course and then we have the ride truck grave digger employee exclusive and let me show you what's in this box right here all righty and there it is you are ready to see it it is the 2024 employee exclusive thunder Roarus. let's get it out Whew, i will say guys it's not the easiest to get that out of the box but quick look for you guys i've already reviewed it but this is a beautiful truck i'm so happy to have this and those are the only two that i have and then i'll show you what's in this box we have a 2000 airborne ranger with the original price tag still on it rev treads there the other purple 30th i've showed you we have a original first release roger dodger from 2019 we have that corvette and then just a few hot wheels monster trucks that i don't really care about that could be for trade one bag ghoul haul y'all shark reek one of the variants a color changer we'll trash it all sriracha i don't really care about those so if you guys want them hit me up on instagram we got a couple o'reilly trucks up here i love that drag bus the falcon jeep and then we kind of couple drastic world trucks the other three are over there i don't really care about those but those are the only four i have then we have the gritty land rover again all these that you see are o'reilly exclusives these were at target at one point not inbox but there is the monster infinite custom have to show it again it's been a couple months and as you can tell uh that is not the only thing diecast related that i collect i have tons of hot wheels and box as well but here are some other things that we got here for monster jam we have the amazon exclusive eight pack and then um we have that we got two bigfoot sets right here with that bigfoot right there that is no longer an exclusive to this pack so it's kind of pointless but still a cool five pack to have and then the trick of flow bigfoot which i also have a loose variant of so not a big deal and then we have the rock and undertaker 124 scale trucks from back in the day got that at toys r us in east rutherford when i went last year we have this that I actually got like last week or something i still have to find a place for it so i thrift store and i've never seen these battle up packs like this this still is from 2000 i mean you have the 20th anniversary grave digger so i think this is like 2002 and i came out and then we have some more o'reilly trucks up here we have the black widow exhaust ppg we have which one is that blistein or blistein we have bnm i think it's called and then lucas products back there on the trophy truck and then we have some green light chases and then i showed you a green light over there one's a greeny chase but that is for a future video so 
um that was just a teaser i can't show you that yet but that is what i have for you guys today those are all of my inbox trucks i hope you guys enjoy show me your inbox collection on instagram give me photos i love seeing inbox collections obviously i prefer loose as you can tell from the shelves bunch of shelving units in here but you know i have to get an inbox collection going strong as well which i've been trying to do lately so please like comment and of course subscribe for more showcase videos if you enjoy these and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out